Welcome to Premath. In this video, we have got this uh, blue shaded uh, trapezoid uh, EFGH fully inscribed uh, in a rectangle uh, ABCD. As you can see in this given diagram, such that uh, these uh, two sides uh, FG and EH uh, are parallel to each other, and the segment uh, GH uh, is four units. Whereas uh, this uh, segment uh, EF is uh, 3 units. And furthermore, uh, this side length uh, of this uh, rectangle is uh, 10 units. The other side uh, length uh, is uh, 7 units. And finally, this tiny segment uh, BH is 1 unit. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, blue shaded trapezoid. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. And please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And in this video, I'm going to share with you with two different approaches. So therefore, please watch the video till the very end. And here's our very first method. And we are going to think outside the box. And let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, AFG. And now we are going to drag this uh, triangle all the way such that uh, this side uh, FG uh, coincides with this uh, side uh, EH. As you can see in this uh, next step. And as a result, we are ended up with this uh, trapezoid uh, APTH. And now let's make an observation. We can see the area of the blue trapezoid. We are talking about this uh, blue trapezoid area is going to be equal to the area of the trapezoid uh, APTH. We are talking about uh, this uh, trapezoid uh, APTH area. So therefore, now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, trapezoid uh, APTH. And now let's make an observation. We can see that uh, this uh, whole uh, side uh, A B is equal to this side uh, C D and we know this side is uh, 10. So this uh, A B side uh, has got to be 10 units as well. And now we know this uh, segment uh, G H uh, 4. This tiny segment uh, B H is 1. So therefore our this uh, remaining segment uh, A G has got to be 10 minus uh, these two segments is going to give us uh, 5 units. And now we know that uh, this segment uh, AG is equal to this segment uh, PT. If this is 5, uh, then this segment has got to be 5 units as well. And furthermore, we dragged uh, this uh, triangle 3 units downward. So therefore, uh, this segment uh, AP has got to be 3 units as well. And now let's focus on this uh, trapezoid uh, APTH uh, once again. And we can see it's uh, this uh, base uh, H uh, has got to be 5 plus 4 is going to give us uh, 9 units. And now let's recall the area of the trapezoid formula. Area is always equal to height uh, H uh, times the sum of these bases A plus B all over 2. And in our case, uh, our height uh, of this trapezoid is 3, whereas the bases of this uh, trapezoid are uh, 5 and uh, 9. So therefore, the area of this uh, trapezoid uh, APTH is going to be our height uh, 3 divided by 2 times uh, the sum of the bases uh, 9 plus uh, 5. And if we multiply and simplify the right hand side, that is going to give us uh, 21 uh, square units. So that's the area of this uh, trapezoid uh, APTH uh, turns out to be 21. And we know this uh, blue trapezoid area is equal to the trapezoid uh, APTH area. So that's the area of this uh, blue trapezoid turns out to be 21 uh, square units by using the very first method. And here's our second method. And I'm going to label uh, this segment uh, AF uh, as uh, X. And now our task is uh, to find the value of X. And now let's make an observation. We can see that uh, 
this angle uh, is uh, congruent to this uh, angle both of them are corresponding angles if this angle is alpha then this angle has got to be alpha as well and likewise uh, these two angles are uh, corresponding angles as well and they are congruent if this angle is beta then this angle has got to be beta as well so therefore we conclude that this uh, right triangle uh, afg and the other right triangle a e h are our similar triangles according to angle angle similarity theorem and here we can see this is our a f g triangle whereas this whole a e h is this triangle and since these triangles are similar so we are going to have a proportion in other words, the ratio of uh, the side lengths uh, AF and AG is going to be equal to the ratio of uh, AE and AH. And in our case, uh, our AF uh, side is uh, X. So I'm going to replace that one with X. And uh, this uh, AG side is uh, 5 units. So I'm going to replace that one with uh, 5 and this uh, AE segment is going to be this whole uh, AE segment that is going to be X uh, plus uh, 3 so therefore I'm going to replace that one with the uh, X plus 3 over here and finally our this uh, AH segment is going to be this uh, whole uh, AH segment that is going to be 5 plus 4 is going to give us uh, 9 uh, units uh, over here as you can see in this uh, next step and now we are going to cross multiply so therefore we are ended up with uh, 9x uh, equal to 5x uh, plus uh, 15 and now we are going to subtract 5x from both sides this 5x and negative 5x is gone so therefore 4x uh, turns out to be equal to 15 let's divide by 4 on both sides to isolate x so this 4 and 4 is gone so therefore our x value turns out to be 15 divided by 4 so thus our this uh, x value turns out to be 15 divided by 4 units and now let's focus uh, on this segment uh, a a that is going to be equal to this uh, side uh, 15 divided by 4 plus uh, 3 so if we add uh, 15 divided by 4 plus uh, 3 that is going to give us uh, 27 divided by 4 so therefore uh, this segment uh, a e turns out to be 27 divided by 4 and now our task is uh, to find the length uh, f g and this uh, length uh, e h as well and now let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, AFG and I'm going to label uh, this uh, hypotenuse uh, as uh, lowercase uh, m and we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem on this uh, triangle and here's our Pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square and in our case our hypotenuse is lowercase m whereas our two letter legs are uh, 5 and 15 divided by 4 so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula so we are going to write down 5 square plus 15 divided by 4 whole square is going to be equal to m square as you can see in this uh, next step and we simplified the left hand side and it turns out to be m square equals to 625 divided by 16 and now I'm going to undo this square by taking a square root on both uh, sides. So therefore uh, our lowercase m value turns out to be equal to 25 uh, divided by 4 units. So thus our this side uh, lowercase m turns out to be 25 divided by 4. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this uh, bigger right triangle uh, AEH. And I'm going to label uh, this uh, hypotenuse uh, EH uh, as our lowercase uh, n. And we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem on this triangle as well. And here's our Pythagorean theorem once again. 
and in our case uh, the hypotenuse of this uh, triangle is uh, lowercase uh, n whereas our two other legs uh, are going to be 27 divided by 4 and this uh, whole uh, leg uh, ah is going to be 5 plus 4 is going to give us 9 units so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula so we got uh, 9 square plus uh, 27 divided by 4 whole square is going to be equal to lowercase n square and if we simplify everything uh, our n square turns out to be equal to 2025 divided by 16 and now I'm going to undo this uh, square I'm going to take the square root on both uh, sides so therefore we can see our lowercase uh, n value turns out to be 45 divided by 4 units so thus our lowercase n value turns out to be 45 divided by 4 so thus we figure out uh, the basis uh, of this uh, blue trapezoid and now our task is uh, to find the height uh, h of this uh, blue trapezoid and here in this uh, next step i have dropped this perpendicular gk on this side uh, eh and i'm going to label uh, this perpendicular gk as uh, lowercase uh, h and now our task is to find the value of this uh, height h and now let's make an observation we can see that this uh, alpha and beta are our complementary angles so therefore uh, in this triangle kgh this angle is 90 degrees this angle is alpha so therefore this angle has got to be our angle beta so therefore we can see that these two right triangles uh, afg and this other right triangle uh, kgh are our similar triangles according to angle angle similarity theorem we are talking about this uh, triangle afg and this uh, other triangle uh, KGH and since uh, these two triangles are similar so therefore we are going to have a proportion in other words the side uh, GK divided by the side uh, GH is going to be equal to the ratio of these sides uh, AF and FG and we can see our this uh, GK length uh, is uh, lowercase h so i'm going to replace that one with lowercase uh, h our uh, g h uh, length is uh, 4 so i'm going to replace that one with 4 over here and our uh, a f length uh, is uh, 15 divided by 4 so i'm going to replace that one with 15 uh, divided by 4 and finally our uh, f g length uh, is uh, 25 divided by 4 so i'm going to replace that one with uh, 25 divided by 4 as you can see in this uh, next step and here we can see this 4 and 4 cancels out as you can see in this uh, next step and now I'm going to multiply both sides by 4 to isolate uh, H so therefore 4 and 4 is gone so our lowercase h value turns out to be 12 divided by 5 uh, units so thus our height uh, h uh, turns out to be 12 divided by 5 uh, units and here's our final step now we are going to calculate the area of this uh, blue trapezoid and now let's recall once again the area of a trapezoid formula in our case our bases are 25 divided by 4 and 45 divided by 4 whereas our height uh, h is 12 divided by 5 so therefore uh, the area of this blue trapezoid is going to be a half uh, times our height uh, is uh, 12 uh, divided by 5 times uh, the sum of these bases uh, 25 uh, divided by 4 plus uh, 45 uh, divided by 4 uh, as well and in this uh, next step 1 divided by 2 times uh, 12 divided by 5 is uh, going to give us 6 divided by 5 and in the parentheses if we add these two fractions that is going to give us uh, 70 divided by 4 and this uh, 70 divided by 4 could be reduced to 35 divided by 2 so therefore if we simplify and multiply the right hand side 
that is going to give us uh, 21 square units. So thus the area of this uh, blue trapezoid turns out to be 21 square units as well by using the second method. And that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.